Hi everyone and welcome back to the Multiverse of 100 plus data science project series. In this video, I'm going to teach you the hybrid recommendation system using Python and machine learning. And this video is a combination of the Hindi and English, but most of the time I'm trying to use the English word. So, in order to build the hybrid recommendation system, we're going to collect a data that's called the fashion product, which can contain the fashion product based on the male, female and also the baby. In this series, we already discussed about the book recommendation system, which one is nothing but called the content based recommendation system. So now the question is what is actually hybrid? What is actually hybrid? So hybrid is nothing but called uh, the combination of multiple number of recommendation system. So there are two, two major recommendation system are available in the market. It's called the content base, content base, and another one is called the collaborative filter, collaborative filtering. It's also called the collaborative filtering. Okay, it's called the content base, and another one is called the collaborative filtering. So you're already discussing about the content base and you already make three projects on that. So first project is nothing but called, I actually made in my YouTube channel, that's called the movie, movie recommended system that we have the music. Then in this series, we discuss about the books also, right? So we already discussed about the content based recommended system. So content base is actually working based on the content of the user comment. And after that, you can try to build one recommended system. What is the collaborative filtering? So collaborative filtering is nothing but working based on the user behavior okay user behavior and uh okay behavior spelling okay be behavior then user pattern and user rating all of the thing or user the preferences user behavior user pattern and the user rating right based on the users it will try to suggest them which product that i'm going to use let's say uh we are two friends okay so if you're if my mindset of my friend are both are equal so based on my mindset it will try to actually recommend me the uh, content okay it's called the collaborative filtering just like that okay so we are going to why are you doing going to combine this content base and the collaborative filtering i mean multiple number of recommend system when you are going to add them we got hybrid so hybrid is nothing but let's say we have the content and also the collaborative okay that's called the hybrid okay right now the youtube is also using the hybrid recommend system or google is also using the hybrid recommend system so which one is very important so now in this case is you can try to using this hybrid recommend system to recommend one fashion product in upcoming video we we'll try to explore it more like we we'll try to apply it in the movie also so how we can actually using this hybrid recommend system also that's it okay so now what i can do i am simply going to go here and play, use it markdown so that you can get it okay so don't worry about this data set you can get the data set inside the same github directory so let's discuss about the code what actually happening inside that so first thing first you're importing here the pandas so pandas is needed because you're going to load the data set from the uh, directory and make sure one more thing so when you're trying to load it your file your the CSV file should be the same folder i mean same working directory then it can access okay otherwise you need to give here the your absolute path of your csv file that's it and simply we're using here data.head let's run it now it will try to load the data set from the from the from the fashion product.csv file okay now you can see here it have the user id the product id the product name the brand categories price the rating color and the size okay so now how many you're trying to building one trying to building one content base it will actually working on the content okay but how are you trying to use using any Collaborative filter it is based on rating, user rating, and also the users, also the user's behavior, the how the user is behaving, right? No problem. When you go deeper, then you can actually understand all the things. Okay. Now what I can do, we are going to using here a new library that's called the surprise. So surprise is actually using uh, for the collaborative filter. Basically, it actually uh, importing some uh, important library as SBD, which one is really important in terms of the collaborative filter. So if you're trying to install in this library, surprise, you can use the pip install. Let's go on here and try to create one shell. You can use pip install. You can also give here the surprise, this surprise. And also you can, otherwise you can also use here the scikit surprise, scikit surprise, like that. You can actually install in this library like this way, surprise or the scikit surprise. So using that, we are going to actually building our uh, collaborative filter based, uh, collaborative filter based recommended system, right? So we actually import here the data set, the data set and also the reader and also the SBD algorithm. So SBD stands for the singular value decomposition. It's nothing but one kind of 
algorithm which is actually basically using the collaborative filter. Then we're going to importing the scalander dot feature extraction dot tags. We're going to importing here the tf idf vectorizer. You can also using here the count vectorizer also. It's up to you. Then I'm going to using here the linear kernel. Linear kernel is nothing but actually help me to uh, doing the cosine similarity, which is really important in terms of uh, in terms of any content based recombinant system. So first thing first, we're going to using here the content based uh, filtering and the content based recombinant system. So for that, we're going to take in the product ID and the product name and brand and the category and the color and the size and try to combine all of them and try to make another uh, data set that's called the, I mean data frame that's called the content. So what I can do, you can simply using this content df.apply the lambda functions and try to join all of them. I mean joining all of the dress, the editors, the man's fashion, the price, okay? Price, not price is not actually included, brand, the category, all of the categorical features. Product ID is also important. Product ID, the product name, then we have the brand, uh, then we have the category, then we have the colors, then you have the size. So price and rating is not actually, uh, is not actually uh, important as well as its numerical columns. Okay, just for the product ID, we actually give it here so that we can get some uh, informations regarding my product ID also. Then what I can do, you can simply creating here one content data frame and after that, you're using the Lambda function to join all of them. And also we're trying to remove the missing value also. So you can also checking, you can also check that if there are any missing value or not. So let's say data dot is null. It's for checking for this null dot sum. So it will give you if there are any null value or not. And you can see here, it don't have any null value yet. Okay. So if there is any null value inside my content, so it will try to drop all of them. Okay, drop it, but it, it don't have anything else. But if it have, it will try to remove it. So I'm trying to run it here now. So it will import the library as well as surprise, the data set, the reader, and the SBD. Okay. Then we have the from SQL and the feature extraction, the text, TFID vector there, and also the linear kernel for the cosine similarity. That's well. Then what I can do, we are going to initialize here about the TFID vectorizer, then try to feed transform inside my content data. Then after that, we are checking for the cosine similarity. Now the question is what is actually cosine similarity? Okay, so now let's see what is actually cosine similarity. So this is nothing but the formula of the cosine similarity. So cosine similarity actually using for uh, detecting the similar types of products. That's why. So let's say we have two features X and Y. So it having some value in the vector format. So how are you trying to using this formula? Let's say X dot product Y. Then we are going to do the dot product three into one, then two into zero, then zero into zero and five into zero. Then we got here three. And after that, we need to taking the absolute value of the x. So you can see 3 square plus 2 square plus 0 square plus 5 square. And if, if I root it out, you can see here 6.16. Again, 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 again. How do I do this y? Then you can see 1 square plus 0 square plus 0 square plus 0 square and root. You can see here 1. So how and you are put the value inside your functions, you can get here 0 0.49. Now the question is what is actually 0 0.49? So 0 0.49 is your similarity below it's your similarity below how the similar product is similar let's say x is nothing but my show and y is nothing but my t-shirt so it don't have any similar i mean dissimilar so now how can you calculate the dissimilar simple one minus this cos x and y and you can say dissimilarity that's mean shows and the t-shirt have the dissimilarity of the 0 0.51 just for the example so if the things are mostly similar let's say it's also three it's also two it's also zero it's also five so it will give you the answer as a 1. So high and the answer is 1. That's mean it's completely similar. I mean the angle of the theta is 0. It's similar. If the angle of the theta is 90 degree like that, it's dissimilar. This is, this is called the cosine similarity. So using this cosine similarity, what I can do? We are going to checking that if the value of the distance is less or more. Based on that, we are going to say that this is the similar and this is the dissimilar well so then what i can do we can simply creating the reader so this is nothing but for the collaborative filter so how you're trying to using the collaborative filter you know to using here one reader and to give here the reader a scale so just giving here reader scale one to five and you're going to using here a data set load from the data, data from tf so it's nothing but for the collaborative filter okay we need to creating one data set loader for the user id the product id and the rating see for the collaborative filter we're just focusing on the user id this user ID and the product ID and the rating, right? So we will discuss about that. What is actually here? You can say collaborative filter means user behavior, pattern and rating. And based on that, it is creating one data set. Well, that's fine. 
Then what you can do, you can simply using one function that's called the get content based recommendation. And you give here my product ID and the top number. I mean, how many number of product data you're going to take. Okay. Then you're going to be using here a content DF and passing him a content DF and taking if the if it is matched to the product ID, then you are taking the index from that. So you can take in the index number, this index number, index number. And based on the index number, we are going to checking for the cosine similarity or you can see content similarity, this one, content similarity. Then after that, how you get the similarity score that you see earlier in also the mathematics, let's say we got here 0 0.49, like this kind of, this kind of value it will got. So it will searching for top 10 and try to short it in a descending order. Okay, in a descending order. Okay, then what you can do, you're taking the last 10, you can see one to top 10 plus one, okay. So that it will give missing the first one. I mean, when you are giving to, let's say I give here product ID one, so it will accept the product number one, it will taking the all of them, all of 10. Then what I can do, you can simply using the content df.log and the similar indices and try to getting the values inside my product ID. I mean, which product ID is recommended, right? Then after that, it will recommend it, uh, uh, my content. Let's say I'm going to copy it out. Let's say I'm going to give here my product ID. Let's say uh, there are so many product ID. Let's say product ID five. Product ID five is nothing but a T-shirt. And we have, let's say we have top 10 number of. So if I try to run it out, content is it's not recommendation. Okay, I need to run it out also. Let's run it out and let's try it out here now. You can see it, it recommend me the one, number one. So number one is, it's called dress. That's fine. And T-shirt is also the man fashions. Well, and you can see, Let's say six, number six, number six also. Let's, if I try to see the top 10 and number six, number six also dress the band fashion. Okay. And you can see also the Adidas. That's really cool. That's really cool. It's try to recommend them based on the content base. See, so when I give you the five, product number five, you can see product number five is nothing but, uh, five is nothing but t-shirt, Adidas and the man fashion. It will recommend me the one, number one is dress, Adidas also man fashions. That's really great. Okay, and you can see here the for the six number, it's also dress editors and the manifestations. So content base is also working well. Now what I can do, we are going to simply go into the collaborative filter. We're going to do in the collaborative filter. Okay, so so for that what I'm going to do, it's simply going to using here the SBD algorithm. Then you're going to creating one train set. You can see train set. That I'll actually discuss about that. That for the readers, you can see here the data loader also just like the pythons also. Then what I can do, we can simply going to uh, using this data dot build dot full training set. And after that, what I can do, we're going to simply feed it inside my algorithms. Now, based on the algorithm, we are going to recommend the users based on the collaborative filtering. So for that, we're going to uh, actually creating here one get collaborative filtering recommendation and pass here my user ID, not the product ID. Because this collaborative filter is based on the user behavior, the pattern, and also the rating. So that's why passing here my user ID, not the product ID. But in the content, I need to pass here my, I need to pass here my product ID. Okay. Then what I can do, we can simply creating here on test it because you will try to test it out in our testing data also. So that's why. Then what I can do, you can simply using the filter function to filtering all the users based on inside my test data and try to do the predictions. Try to do the predictions. And after prediction, we're trying to short it. Let's say I'm, I'm trying to short it, let's say top 10 top 10 okay so based on that algorithms it will try to short it out and in the reverse mode and after that we are trying to go to the recommendations for i predictions in prediction top 10 and we're going to tagging the prediction id so id is nothing but my prediction id so what i can do it's actually giving you the recommendation again you can see here first it will take in the training set then it will filter all the training get uh, test data i mean test data based on the user id and after that, you're going to be using here our algorithm for the predictions. And when it gets the prediction, it will try to short in, in the reverse model. And after that, it will, it will give me the recommendation top 10. Let's say I, if I give here top 10, it will show me the top 10 number. Okay. So we try to using it one, get collaborative filtering. Let's say using one. Let's say user ID. So user ID, let's say give here user ID as a, let's say one, uh, 19. Let's say user 19. So if I'm trying to give here user ID as a 19, and if I give here top five, then you can give here, okay, and it also run it out. Okay, data frame has no object called build training set. Okay, and it also uh, running it from the first. Okay, let's run it now. Okay, and you can see here, based on that, it will recommend me some product. Let's call 344679. Okay, if we're trying to, let's say, 
it will recommend me let's say 10 so you can see it recommend me some product okay based on the collaborative filter you can also check it out in our data set which is quite big okay no problem on that okay so this is how it can actually give me the recommendations based on my uh, product okay so if i try to checking for the same things that's a 79 that actually show in the uh, uh, content base also now it's, let's say content base let's say top uh, 19 and you can see here to recommend me some product based on the 79 i mean the, for the product number uh, this one for the five it will try to short it out based on this uh, uh, scoring right then what you can do for the hybrid approach you are going to combine all of them so for that you're going to call in this content base and also the collaborative base and pass here my product id and the user id then what i can do we try to try to combine all of them and creating one union create the union of that okay you can see a set okay so that you don't have any duplicate value so let's say i am trying to you can see here 508 it's not available here let's say is there any available available let's five six seven seven not available nine six four not available if there is available inside my value inside my value so it will try to take the set of that okay it's try to take the set of that and creating one list and after that what i can do we are going to retrieve the value let's say top 10 let's say we have the 100 value okay so what i can do you take it faster top 10 in the, inside the hybrid approach so if i give here let's say if i give here if i give here user id 6 product id 11 and the top 10 number so if i try to run it out and you can see just to wait you need to run it out here also you can see it actually recommend me the this product okay so let's say if i am trying to using here the same thing let's say 5 uh, user uh, id is let's say 79 and product id is nothing but call 5 okay if i go on here product id is a 5 and the user id is a 79 so let's see what kind of recommendation we got so again run it and we can we can we get here some recommendation 509 it's from the collaborative filter shoot no no it's from the content based maybe we don't get it here let's say this is how you're actually taking the uh, based on the collaborative filter, it will try to combine all of them. Okay, so this is how the hybrid recommendation system actually works the content base and the collaborative filter. So let's try to recap it and sum up here. So, first, what you can do, we can simply load our data set, then checking for the null value, then in installing the library, it's called the surprise or the psychic surprise, then we input here the SBD algorithm, the data set, and reader for the collaborative filtering, then we input here the TF idea vectorizer so that we can do the vectorizations. Then you use here the linear uh, kernel for the question similarity. Then for the content base, you're going to combine all the features, the categorical features with having the product ID. Then save it inside one data frame that's called content and df.apply. And you're going to join all of them and try to check for the null value. If there is a null value, so you will simply drop it out. Then after that, you're going to using here the TF idea vectorizer. Then you're going to checking for the question similarity. Then after that, we are going to creating the data set for my uh, collaborative filtering because you know to using the readers and also the data set because you're going to pass it inside my SBD uh, algorithm so that's why then after that you're going to creating the functions which will actually give me the recommendation based on the content then after that you're going to test it out then you're going to using here, here SBD algorithm and using the training data set and try to fit it and after that you're going to creating one test set and try to test it out and based on that you're going to taking some predictions and you're going to using the top tens and after that you're going to recommend it then for the hybrid we're trying to call in the functions for the user id the product id and you're going to join it out and try to taking the union of that and create one list and on inside the list top 10 you're going to recommend them and after that you're going to you test it out for the calling this function and simple as it is right so this is how the hybrid uh, recommend system actually work don't worry how any go deeper we also discuss about the movies the musics using this uh, hybrid recommend systems or the collaborative filter don't worry on that we're discussing all the things in the details okay so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to subscribe to the channels and share with your friends family even your boyfriend and girlfriend you can do that so thank you and bye bye